so this is the second part in the decision making which comes decision making under risks with probability the previous one was with uncertainty but this is under risks that is there is a chance of losing okay so they have given with probability now let us see the problem in this particular problem they have given the state of nature that is i have already told you these are the events and the acts are a b c a b c this can also be treated as alternatives okay now in the particular problem they have given probabilities for the events as p 0.5 and q 0.1 and r is 0.4 so they have asked to calculate expected monetary values criterion okay and the second part is expected opportunity loss that is eol and emb so we will first calculate emb for this particular problem and the next part we will calculate eol that is expected opportunity loss these two main criterion they are going to ask you in this semester examination uh, that comes under decision making under risks with probability okay so let us solve the first criteria that is emv look for the first one we have to calculate emv that is expected monetary value monetary values criterion for each and every alternatives that is how much risks we are going to take if we select a or b or c whatever the alternative is given over here so for this thing we have to multiply the particular probabilities with this values given over here for um, alternatives a b and c okay uh, separately then we have to add it up so let us write you will understand better when i will solve it for you look for emv i have written over emv means expected monetary values for emv for a it is given as 0.5 into minus 35 okay next 0.1 into 250 this is the column of the a and these are the probabilities okay and these are the events so emv for a you have to calculate that is the probability you have to multiply with the particular events and then you have to add it up 0.5 into minus 35 plus 0.1 into 120 plus 0.4 into minus 100 uh, sorry 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 a mistake 0.5 into minus 35 0.1 into 250 plus for a we are selecting a 0.4 into 550 as simple as that for b we have to calculate the emv okay for b look 0.5 into 120 plus 0.1 into minus 350 minus 350 plus 0.4 into 650 650 now for emb for c we have to calculate c we have given 0.5 into 0.5 into minus of 100 plus 0.1 into 200 plus 0.4 into 700 okay so i have calculated the values for you these are given as for a 227.5 for B, it is given as 285. For C, it is given as 250. Now, 
you can easily select or you can take decision by seeing the values of the EMV for A, B and C. Okay. Look, this is the highest value. When, why we are selecting highest value? Always. Because this is the profit matrix. So, we have to select the highest value. Okay. Highest value from the calculated EMV values. Okay. This is the highest value. So, alternative uh, B is selected as its value is highest. Okay. Now, we have to calculate the expected opportunity loss that is the UL value for this particular decision matrix and we have to decide which alternative is the best one according to UL criteria. Okay. Now uh, for doing so we have to construct a matrix again in which we have to select row wise for a particular event the maximum value of a row okay so say for this particular event on the state of nature p the uh, maximum value in the row is given as 120 after selecting the maximum value we have to subtract that particular value from each and every cell of this particular row of this particular event okay so let us construct for this particular state of nature p for A, we have got 120 is the highest value in this particular row and 120 minus minus of 35. Okay. So, I can write it as 120 minus of minus 35, which gives you value of 155. Okay. Next, for B, we have 120 minus 120 is equal to 0. For C, we have 120 minus of minus 100, okay, which gives you 220, okay, no problem. Next, we have got for Q, Q maximum value is 250. For the first part, we have 250 minus 250 is equal to 0. For the next part we have 250 minus of minus 350 is equal to how much? Uh, 250 plus 350 that is 600. The last one is 250 minus 200 which gives you 50. Now for R we have to select the maximum one. Maximum is 700. So 700 minus 550 which gives you 150 for the next one 700 minus 650 which gives you 50 for the last one 700 minus 700 is gives you 0 now we have constructed the particular table UL table now we have to calculate the value for each and every alternative. How to calculate that? According to the probabilities given over here in the question, we have to calculate a EOL value for A, for say A, first part, first part for A, we have to calculate UL value. How to calculate? Look, for A, we have got 155, 0 and 150, okay? So, accordingly, we have to multiply the probabilities of this particular event and we have to add this one. How to do that? First one is 155. Corresponding value is probability is 0 0.5. So we have 0 0.5 into 155 plus second one is 0 into 0 0.1. And third one is 150 into 0 0.4. So this gives you a value of 137.5. Now, EOL for B. Similarly, we have to calculate EOL for B. For B, we have 0 into 0.5 plus 600 into 
पॉइंट वन प्लस फिफ्टीन टू पॉइंट फोर विच गिव्स यू एटी नाउ यू विल फॉर इवेंट सॉरी अल्टरनेटिव सी इज गिवेन बाय फर्स्ट वन इज टू ट्वेंटी पॉइंट फाइव इंटू टू ट्वेंटी प्लस फिफ्टीन टू पॉइंट वन प्लस हाउ मच जीरो इंटू पॉइंट फोर विच गिव्स यू अ वैल्यू ऑफ से वन वन फाइव नाउ वी हैव गॉट थ्री वैल्यूज ओवर हियर फॉर थ्री अल्टरनेटिव वन इज वन थर्टी सेवन पॉइंट फाइव एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज एटी एंड द लास्ट वन इज वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन ओके सो दिस इज द यू एल एक्सपेक्टेड ऑपॉर्चुनिटी लॉस यू कैन सी एक्सपेक्टेड ऑपॉर्चुनिटी लॉस नाउ फ्रॉम दिस थ्री वैल्यूज वी हैव टू सिलेक्ट द ऑल्टरनेटिव विच इज लेस बिकॉज वी हैव टू मिनिमाइज द लॉस इट इज सेइंग एक्सपेक्टेड ऑपॉर्चुनिटी लॉस सो वी हैव टू मिनिमाइज द लॉस ओके सो द मिनिमम लॉस इज by selecting option or alternative b as because loss in this particular alternative is the lesser among all the other alternative so we have to select alternative b only thank you